Now on its sixth generation, the BMW 7 Series is being touted as the most innovative vehicle in its class. This is due to its 25 new innovations, 13 of which are brand new to the car industry. Hello everyone and welcome back to Everyman Driver. I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks so much for watching. This week I have the all new redesigned 2016 BMW 7 Series in this Alpine white. Thanks to my friends over at BMW of Spokane allowing us access to drive it and test it this week. You know, this is one of the vehicles that I actually aspired to have when I was younger. Something about the BMW brand. I like larger sedans, luxury, all the space. And today I'm lucky enough to drive it. There's no getting around it. This is a big vehicle, but thanks to its 440 horses, 480 pound-feet of torque, twin power turbo V8, this can sprint from 0 to 60 in about 4.3 seconds. It's also due to the fact that there's a weight reduction of 190 pounds this year, so it can get up and go. What do you say you follow me inside? We'll give you a tour of the cabin, start it up, and take a look at the controls. Push button start. Oh, look at this. I love these instrument clusters, all these digital instrument clusters. It's a beautiful layout. So we have here a, a 10 inch multi-informational display. I'm controlling everything down here. Pardon the glare with this, kind of a bright day. But look at all the options here. I'm just gonna turn this dial left and right and you should be able to with a little zoom by the camera guy. That's me. There we go. Now we'll switch between options Take a look at your vehicle. It's like an encyclopedia here with all your user information, stats, navigation. Clearly, I'm gonna go through a map. You can see where we are here in Spokane, Washington at BMW. Communication, so you can hook up your phone for hands-free driving. Check out messages. Radio, of course, AM, FM, satellite, music, all that good stuff. The new 7 Series also features an automotive first, gesture controls. Simple gestures as swiping or pointing are identified in the recognition area above the center console and trigger a function such as accepting or rejecting an incoming telephone call. Volume can be adjusted by a circular motion of the index finger and gesture controls complement the existing control system such as the iDrive touch controller. You have several drive modes with the 7 Series, a Sport, Comfort, Eco Pro, and when I press those buttons, you'll see the instrument cluster change up, so I'm going to do it again. Sport, Comfort, and Eco Pro. There in the center, you have a USB port to charge your phones, a pair of cup holders here, another spot for some change if you like. Really nice display. This is really a, a nice upgrade from previous versions of the 7 Series with a digital display right here for your climate controls as well as the dials. So you can turn the dial and you can see what it is. I like that. On your steering wheel, you've got paddle shifters on the outside so you can do manual mode as well as automatic and they are connected to the steering wheel as opposed to the steering column. Here's your cruise control here on the left hand side. Bluetooth technology options on the right hand side again for that hands-free driving as you saw before the dials in the center, all digital display. Backseat legroom and headroom for a guy who's 5'11", and this is ridiculous. A lot of space back here, as you would expect for a vehicle of this size. I got a moonroof here for back two passengers, another moonroof for the front two passengers. Space is amazing. Headroom, not even a concern for someone like me. Legroom as well is uh, phenomenal. I mean, this, this is really a, a place for I don't know, maybe you have a butler. You are the one in the back seat, let them do all the driving and just chill back here. So there's compartment behind the driver's seat. So if you have a tablet, iPad, magazines, that kind of thing right there, fold down armrest, nice along there. Also some compartment space below it, fold that back down. Definitely plenty of room for three full size adults in the back seat, maybe even four, depends on how big those adults are. Uh, we've got a pair of vanity mirrors, one for each passenger on this side as well as that side. Four O-blank handles, climate controls. Well, you know, we're talking about a 7 Series, luxury, sedan. It better have it all. This one seems to have it all. So there are three options to open the trunk lid of the 2016 7 Series. There's a push button in the door panel where the driver is. 
There is a button here in the key fob. Press and hold that for a couple of seconds. It'll open up. Your third option is hands-free. So stand behind the car. The vehicle is locked. With the key fob with you, just slightly put your foot underneath the bumper. Lights flash. It opens up on its own. So I love this. Behind the back row seats, 18.2 cubic feet of volume, lots of space, which you should expect from a luxury sedan of this size. There's even a pass-through option too, so if you have some longer items, you can utilize that space. And when you're done, press this button here along the, the trim and walk away as it closes up. Time for a test drive, people. Let's do this. Pop her into drive. Got this eight speed sport automatic transmission. Uh, dynamic driving with uh, Eco Pro adaptive comfort and sport modes. Not to mention the uh, paddle shifters. Put it in drive. Let's go ahead and take a little bit of a spin. There's something about a, a longer vehicle that I like. Uh, this is 17 feet long uh, and well over 4,000 pounds, but that 4.4 liter kicks in and makes it feel like a smaller vehicle in terms of, I guess, handling, even though it is a longer vehicle. And gosh, driving is so smooth. You know, when you, when you come to this level of luxury and, and price point, which I'll talk about later, they spare no expenses on making this a a pleasant experience. Steering is super smooth and responsive. Uh, the car glides and turns with ease. There's nothing jarring about it at all. I do have a heads up display here so I can keep my eyes uh, straight ahead, not worrying about necessarily what it has here in the instrument cluster. Accelerate through the corner. Not a lot of body roll. It uh, holds, its, holds its ground pretty well. One of the biggest reasons why the new 7 Series is a good handler is because of its carbon core lightweight construction. The chassis has been developed with extensive uses of carbon fiber, aluminum, and high strength steel. All of these elements have been strategically placed in the chassis to create a very lightweight, very rigid, and safe structure in which to build upon the vehicle. For example, the A, B, and C pillars, as well as much of the roof, are all built using carbon fiber. This makes the chassis very stiff, reducing chassis flex, which improves handling, but also reduces weight up top, lowering the center of gravity to further improve handling. One uniquely distinctive design detail in the front view of the 7 Series is the active Airstream kidney grill. The air vents actually open when the car needs air and close when they're not needed for better aerodynamics. Fuel economy wise, you're looking at 16 city, 25 on the highway. So BMW is projecting about 19 miles per gallon in mixed driving. So the MSRP here in my 2016 BMW 7 Series, which is the 750xi, is around $98,000. Notice how I said my 2016 7 Series, because I definitely buy it. If I had the money, no question about it. And I'd probably get it in this uh, Alpine white as well. I'll have much more information on everymandriver.com if you're interested. And thanks again to my friends over at BMW of Spokane. If you're in the area, they are the place to see and visit for BMWs in the Inland Northwest. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson with Everyman Driver. Thanks so much for watching. Adios.